Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease that causes dysfunction of secretory glands and affects various parts of the body, especially the lungs and digestive system. Typically, mucus produced by the body is watery, but in cystic fibrosis, the mucus is thick, which causes it to accumulate and block airways. This leads to trouble breathing and lung infections. It is estimated that 1 in 3,600 children born in Canada have cystic fibrosis. This is an autosomal recessive disease, meaning that both parents must carry the gene responsible in order for their child to have the disease. An individual can carry the gene without having cystic fibrosis themselves. These people are known as carriers. Approximately 1 in 25 Canadians are carriers for cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is a disorder that presents multiple symptoms that can vary in severity from person to person. The buildup of mucus in the lungs can cause infections and persistent coughing. Mucus buildup in the pancreas can also lead to decreased absorption of fats and proteins, which can cause bowel disturbances and intestinal blockage, especially in infants. Another diagnostic trait of this disorder is poor weight gain and growth in children. In adults, men with cystic fibrosis are infertile, while women faced a decreased fertility. Individuals living with cystic fibrosis must receive ongoing medical care in order to manage their disease. Patients must be proactive and receive checkups every three months. They must continually take prescribed medication and make lifestyle changes such as maintaining a good diet, continually washing their hands to lower risk of infection, drinking lots of fluids, and exercising regularly. In addition, doctors highly recommend chest physical therapy. This is an airway clearance technique which drains the lungs using various techniques such as percussion, vibration, deep breathing, or coughing. When medical management can no longer maintain lung health and function, transplantation may be the next step to improve the length and quality of life of patients with cystic fibrosis. Researchers have found that 67% of Canadians undergoing lung transplants for cystic fibrosis live at least 5 years post-surgery and 50% live at least 10 years. Newly transplanted lungs offer a better prognosis for cystic fibrosis as patients no longer produce mucus, cough, or require chest physical therapy or inhaled antibiotics. Currently, 5 Canadian institutions located in Vancouver, Edmonton, Winnipeg, Toronto and Montreal have lung transplant programs for patients with cystic fibrosis. However, despite these new programs and research, lung transplants do not offer a cure since individuals still possess the cystic fibrosis gene. So what happens after getting a lung transplant? The early postoperative period is a crucial time for all lung transplant patients, especially those with cystic fibrosis. Immediately after surgery, patients are placed in the intensive care unit of the hospital, intubated and monitored carefully until their lungs are capable of functioning by themselves. As with all transplant surgeries, patients are given immunosuppressants to reduce the risk of organ rejection. However, this places patients at a high risk for infection in the early post-operative period. Therefore, patients are also given broad-spectrum antibiotics to reduce the risk of infection. Once patients are capable of breathing on their own, they must begin physiotherapy to strengthen both their musculoskeletal and cardiovascular systems. After being discharged, lung transplant recipients must follow a strict follow-up schedule, which includes blood work and breathing tests. In addition, they are given home spirometry exercises to self-monitor their lung function. Although each individual case is different, Cystic Fibrosis Canada reported in 2014 that 90% of cystic fibrosis patients who had a lung transplant were satisfied with their decision. Immediately after surgery, patients have felt a significant difference in breathing and exercise ability and can resume their daily activities. Overall, lung transplants for cystic fibrosis patients have shown a significant survival benefit and have changed the outcomes of many affected individuals. For more interesting videos, please check out the Demystifying Medicine series channel.